Before we get to that forecast, tis the season for lights shining bright at night in people's yards all around Maine. This is one seen in Robinston, courtesy of John. We have some festive music I know, I like too. That. <laughs> a very festive yard with lights covering a tree and outlining a car. And a little bit of snow on the ground certainly adds to the festive mm. ambiance. Thanks, John, for sending this in. If you have some cool lights, we want to see them. You can take a photo or video and send it to us using the Near Me section of our New Center Main app. Beautiful. Yeah, and more snows on the way to make it even more festive. Yeah, maybe send us your light pictures tomorrow night. Not yes. that we're trying to be too picky, but you know, with a little we're snow on picky, there. It yeah. <laughs> looks gorgeous. <laughs> Uh, yeah, a lot of us will see our first kind of accumulating inch or so of snow as we go through the day tomorrow. So right now, this is a look at the satellite radar. Not a lot going on, of course, a couple clouds out there. Uh, we've had some fairly clear skies too, so that's allowing temperatures to cool off tonight. And most of us will start down in the 20s tomorrow. Perfect snowy temperatures. There's a low pressure system that's going to move through, and that's what we'll see uh, offshore tomorrow. And that's going to bring us some snow, especially closest to the coast. And depending on if an inverted trough sets up, uh, sets up or not, that could mean even more snow for some of us. We'll talk about it all. 29 right now in Portland. Lewiston's down to 22. Augusta's at 27 right now. So of course these temperatures. Uh, cold enough to support any snow that comes and this is pretty much where we'll be tomorrow morning too in the low to mid 20s to start the day. Uh, you'll see those clouds increasing pretty quickly as we go into tomorrow morning and then going throughout the day tomorrow. Those snow showers start up in the late morning hours in parts of southern and western Maine. Now it's not going to be a steady heavy snow or anything like that throughout the day tomorrow. It's really not a lot of snow. It's just the fact that you know, for many of us, it'll be our first uh, kind of solid accumulation out there of around an inch or two. Uh, Greater Portland included, most of us haven't really seen much in the way of accumulation yet in southern Maine. So by tomorrow afternoon, you can see some very light snow setting up into interior portions of the state as well. Uh, farther north and into the mountains, unfortunately not really going to get much from this one, maybe a dusting or so. As we go into tomorrow afternoon and evening, that low pressure system moves on out of here. We'll see some snow still falling though into the evening hours, especially in eastern Maine, especially the down east coast. That's the one area that I think we could see uh, even higher snowfall totals and we'll look at that map in just a second. But overnight Wednesday and into early Thursday, this low pressure system really moves out. We're going to clear out pretty nicely for the day on Thursday. We'll see some sunshine out there. However, temperatures going to stay on the cool side as we head into Thursday afternoon. Most of us will only make it into the low to mid 30s, which is still a little bit below normal for this time of year. And any snow that falls anyways, we're going to be out of here this weekend because by the weekend, temperatures are going to warm up quite a bit. OK, so let's talk about this snowfall map for a second so I can give you all the disclaimers. Not a big event at all. We're just making such a big deal of it because again, it's our first really accumulating snow for many of us dusting to two pretty much statewide with the exception of far northern Maine and far kind of northwestern Maine. Some of the mountains will see more like a dusting. Now in down east Maine, especially along the coast, especially in the Eastport, Lubeck, Machias area, I think you're going to be closer to the four mark. I could even see some five or six inch readings there. Also, this little area here in southern Maine along the immediate coastline, if an inverted trough sets up, really hard to forecast, but we could see a very small area that ends up in the more like two to four inch range. So either way, be careful on the roads as we go throughout the day tomorrow. Uh, for sure, take your time out there. On Friday, a couple snow showers around, not a big deal, just a few snow flurries. And then on Saturday, temperatures warm up significantly. I mean, we're talking mid to upper 50s for the day on Saturday, so mainly a rain event. Uh, if we have a cold air damming situation, we could see some icy precipitation in there too. I will keep you updated kind of once we get through the day tomorrow. So, uh, Sunday clears up nicely. It'll be much drier for the second half of the weekend. Here's your marine forecast for tomorrow. Seas around three to four winds from the northeast at 10 to 15 gusting to around 25. So again, not a big storm tomorrow, but it is our first accumulating snow for many of us. So please just be careful uh, on the roads. You know it only takes a coating to make those roads slick mm -hmm. and those temperatures definitely cold enough to support uh, snowfall accumulation on the road. So tomorrow afternoon, evening, just take your time out there. By Thursday morning, things will start to clear out. We'll see a mix of sun and clouds by Thursday afternoon. And then on Friday, it's really just a few scattered snow showers around for the day on Friday. Not a big deal there. And then back into the 50s for Saturday. Things warming up quite a bit. We will see uh, some solid rainfall for Saturday into early Sunday. Then we clear up and it's actually pretty mild and pretty comfortable. Uh, as we head into early next week, but it's going to feel kind of festive 
I think tomorrow, I think I'm yeah. ready, ready now I'm for a little ready, bit. For yeah. Sure. So it's going to be but nice out yeah, there. Definitely keep safe on the roads. Yes, for sure. Remember how to drive. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Jess. Thanks.